Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to join my paid channel membership, it is $1.99 to join, and you do have to be at least 18 years old. I do call that the chatterbox, and the link is in the description bar. Um, if not, you can go to my About Me tab, and you can check out uh, the link there. So today I am showing Baby Hans, and Baby Hans is on a Reggie Hans cuddle body, and... I had a viewer's request to see how he moves however um pretty much all the uh <laughs> the babies on the cut the Re Reggie and cuddle bodies are going to move pretty much the same unless like the head is much bigger or heavier it might fall harder or you know quicker or further back um but he yeah he just he moves like you know he just falls like a, a regular baby. He's bald for now, but I am going to root him. Um, so, yeah, he can, you know, of course, he can pose different ways. He got his little hands. Um, and, yeah. So, I did root his eyebrows and his eyelashes. And... I, like I said, I will root his hair to blend in the rest of the way. But, yeah, he's a preemie. He's like 14 inches. So he's on a skinny. I end up, um, he came with a body. Well, when I ordered the kit, I ordered it with the body from uh, Maria Lang Grover. But I end up not wanting that particular body. So I order a skinny body from Premium Body from um, Reggie Ann. And so I liked it better. I asked her, could she make a skinny body for him? And so that worked out much better for me. Um, just my personal preference because his head is, is not that big. So, um, and I also, she also have a little boutique where she make clothes for the preemies as well. Um, that's on her website. And so, um, I ordered a body for my, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might've seen in my live. I, I have this little, it's just a little, um, uh, micro, micro t <laughs> preemie head called Joshua, um, or Josh. And the, the body, the head is not really on the body yet. Cause I, I'm not going to waste my zip tie. Um, and so she had made this little outfit that fits him. And just so you guys know, oh, I don't even, I just realized I don't even have flips. It's just closed in. The, the sleeper is closed in. Oh, that's cute. Um, so this is like one of the sleepers. And, and as you can see, he's very tiny. He's like, um, I think his head is like supposed to be like nine inches, which is crazy because Han's head is 11.75. But, you know, sometimes those inches kind of get you confused. They don't really help you imagine what they're going to look like. But, yeah, it had this little hat, and um, it buttons down, and it fits him perfectly. Of course, it fits him perfectly because she makes the body, so she knows what fits. You know, she have them there to customize them to fit exactly on the baby. So, that's, I'm probably going to check her site out. I'm expecting another little outfit that I ordered. Um, she does it, I think she said once every other month or something like that. So, um, she uploads like a couple items or whatever, a lot of items actually, a different sizes and stuff in different outfits for our little babies. And I, I think that's really cute, but <clears throat> she has some really nice things on there, but this So that's the little outfit, the little sleeper. And I think it's really cute. Um, but like I said, he, I got, I ordered this, this little head. It's only, it was $75. I ordered it because, um, so it's $75. And then the body I think was maybe 75 or $70, something like that. And so like $140, $50 for this little baby. And that's only because 
I'm going to paint him and root him, but I'm going to paint him and use him as a practice to practice a specific skin tone. And then I am going to, I was going to practice cutting the mouth and opening it, but his mouth is so tiny and he's so little. I don't see why I would, cause I don't, I don't even think they have pacifiers that even fit. And at that, to be honest, when they're that little, they don't get to sell pacifiers that little in real life. But anyway, um, so I'm not going to open his mouth. I'm not going to pra practice on that. But I am going to practice on skin tone and some de specific details. And then I'm going to um, practice rooting on him and a specific root style on him since his head is so little. Just to... This is just how I try to improve myself and my, my work. Um, and, you know, just little things when I work on babies by myself, uh, for myself, I'm able to do that. I So he's not going to be a baby that's for sale, but I will share him when he's done. Um, just some of the little experiments that I do with him. So I don't know when I'll get to him, but in the meantime, I just... I, I put them together to see what it looked like. Let me show you guys the little body. Again, like I said, his head is not really fully on. So this is, <laughs> this is a little body. And I ordered the chocolate, I mean the, like the, the dark color for my babies because most of my babies are going to be like biracial or, or, or uh, AA, which is black babies. So I just always just go ahead and get the dark body because I like it on them. I even like it on the Caucasian babies, to be honest, because it looks like he has on a little sleeper or something. So um, I think that's so cute how little he is. Look at this. So, yeah, so the bodies, like I said, the bodies is like not like the most. There's nothing going to be realistic about a cloth body. Um without clothes on but the way she makes it the design is really nice so yep so that's that's that and um i will end this video here just wanted to show hands and um again this is the baby that's in my personal collection as well and that's another thing guys i've just really I'm so thankful that I've been able to really just enjoy painting for myself and being able to keep a lot of my babies. I'm not used to being able to do that. And even having babies that I'm able to have with rooted hair, I can't believe I actually literally have two babies in here that I painted that have actual hair. Because usually most of my babies are like reborns are just bald. And eventually I will have sil <laughs> silicone babies that painted and rooted by me, which I always appreciate because I love to be able to have a baby like totally um, co completed by me, but um, in my collection. So that's where I'm at. So yeah, so I just thought I would share that. And those are my little ones. Um, hold on, so. I am looking for a baby or a kit that is like three to six months size, not in silicone, in vinyl. Oh my gosh, that little body is so cute. I can't stop saying that. Um, see, I'm cute too, mama. Yeah, I, I've, I've really been enjoying my hobby so much. I, you know, I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. And just you know busy I do I, like I said I'm, I'm finishing up rooting a customer baby but um, beyond that I don't really have as I don't have no obligations to nobody else right now and I'm really enjoying that at the moment it, it feels really nice um, so, like, a lot of the babies I'm working on is just for me. So, I, I think I'm kind of gravitating more towards just painting for myself um, here lately because, I don't know, I just, I, 
I, I haven't been able to really collect like from other artists. So I've just gotten to the point where I don't even bother anymore trying a lot of times. I just, just get the kit and kind of paint it for myself. Um, and it's not that I like, it's not that I can't, I just, sometimes I just want to do it myself. And sometimes it's just easier for me to just do it myself. And then, you know, when you, when you paint, you, you develop your own style, you know what you want, da da da. Sometimes you can't fully execute it, but I think you kind of get in the ballpark of what you want more so than when you someone else does it and it's it's not a lot of um people painting uh black babies out here well that paints them like realistic and the ones that do um they're pretty up there like three four thousand dollars to get one and i'm talking about reborns now so um i just go ahead and take a chance and try it myself <laughs> so um, i'm excited about a couple kits that's coming out too that's bigger babies um in the reborns it's kind of weird coming from me that i usually only like uh newborn babies but i like his size i really like it and i want a size just a little bit bigger than that just so i could put on some of these outfits and stuff that i got and um i believe the gabby gill would probably fit the the size that i'm looking for um and probably a few others oh my god i can't stop looking at hands let me move him this baby is for sale i that's why i put him here i was gonna show y'all that but i i can't i gotta get back over here to him let me tell you this baby i am not usually an awake fan but i think i'm becoming an awake fan because this baby like i don't care where he's at in the room he he demands your attention on him like it's it's so crazy like his because of just because his eyes they like hold on i need to get him more light in here so you guys can really see him see him like he he just look like he's staring at you and he doesn't have a like a blank stare like so to speak so i'm definitely i'm definitely wanting me uh another awake baby really bad right now um in a newborn in silicone like i i sometimes i look at him and i just i i love that he's you know i love his color and everything and i kind of wish he was the full body at this point but um yeah so now it's like it made me want the full body so i think i am going to order the full body open eye baby when I as soon as I can afford to do it but look at him he's just so adorable you can't you you, you can't not love that face I think I love this this one I love his little face I actually love the version the full body version of him but I didn't like the uh the leg position as much so I was like huh let me try this so I, I I I prefer this particular sculpt as Cuddle Baby than Full Body, but that's just my personal preference. Um, so that's the good thing about like partials and stuff is that you don't have to worry about like oh I don't like the body style because you just they're on a cloth body so that's out of the question. So it doesn't ruin that for you. But anyway, that is it. I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.